Hey everyone, I'm Lee. I'm Carol. And, and welcome, welcome to, to The Couple Crib. Crib and we're back with another reaction video. And this time we're checking out a song by uh, Credence Clearwater Revival. Yet again. Uh, it's called Bad Moon Rising. Mm -hmm. So uh, we already reacted to Have You Ever Seen The Rain? And it was the first song and this one is the second. Mm. And we are so sorry for, you know, like this long break and this long... Uh, but we don't make uh, reaction videos. Yeah, but now we are uh, really intending to make a lot of reactions and of course more of Credence Clearwater yeah. Revival. Sure. So we're gonna uh, start with this yeah. one. The lyric video. Bad I'm Moon. here for it. What does Bad, mo bad Moon mean? We're gonna find out. <laughs> it's in you. Why? Not earthquakes, please. Okay, wait, stop. Wait, he's saying a lot of, you know, catastrophic events, but the beat is the opposite. Very like, cheerful. Yeah, very and cheerful. Uplifting. And I've seen the earthquakes uh, and the lightning. Yeah, like, don't go around, don't go around <laughs> That's tonight. Weird, like, I'm right? looking like, why? I want to know why. No way! How did? Oh, is that <laughs> short? I didn't know. Okay, I have. I swear, <laughs> this is the first song that I have so many mixed feelings about. I'm confused. Yeah, the beat, the tempo. Is very it's so uplifting. contradictory to what he's saying. So. Should I, you know, like bob my head? Should I? It's Should I cheerful, laugh? Sure. But then at the same time, prepare to die, and there's doom and apocalypse and the earthquakes yeah. and hurricanes and. You know, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like when he talked about the bad moon, you know. What is the bad moon? What I thought about Let's it. Let's just decipher like, the lyrics. If you think about it, if the moon got a bit closer to to Earth, mm -hmm. you know what will happen? The hurricanes. Okay. The weather, oh. everything will be dead. But he's not talking about the weather. He talked about the weather. He talked yeah, about he everything. Talked about he, he, he talked about the doctrine, an eye for an eye. You know, like you're, you, we're gonna take an eye for an eye. I mean, like, yeah, like, what is that? Yeah. To, like related? How how is that related to the, to the moon? Yeah, and this the apocalypse? is so confusing because he mentioned a lot of weather elements. You know, like as you said, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, the other. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not. Yeah, but I think he's not talking about you know the weather. He's, he must be talking about a lot of things. I agree. Know? Because I agree. of course, whereas those things are factors that lead to you know doom and apocalypse and you know the they end. Do. You feel like he's the talking end, about yeah. the end of the world. Yeah. But it's 
prepare to die. I don't know what he's talking about actually. Yeah. He wanted everyone to prepare to die. But they. But what? I, ha I should do some research. Like, I'm, it's so confusing. Yeah, tell me why. <laughs> I don't mean it's not a beautiful song, but you cannot have this tune and then say those lyrics at the same time. Actually, you can. And like, you're grooving and, and, and they make you think it's no. It's contradictory. Yeah, I okay, know. I agree, but, but they made it look cool, you know, like. It is cool. I love them. It can it can go uh, beautifully, you know. But <laughs> but but, but yeah. at the same time, like prepare, you're gonna die, or prepare I don't know what to they. Die. Yeah. But dance along. Uh, While you're dying. Meanwhile, yeah. Yeah. Like be he happy wrote, when you. He wrote this song the same day Richard Nixon was elected president. This is genius. Okay. Uh, genius.com. <laughs> he denies <laughs> the song has a political subtext. Okay, I don't, I don't know. It's not political. However, okay. the song still became an anthem both for troops in Vietnam and anti-war anti protesters across the country. Oh. I don't know what he's talking about still. The song was a metaphor, as I said. I wasn't just writing about the weather. The time seems to be seemed to be in turmoil. In turmoil. Ah. ah. Okay. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Like he felt like the end was actually near with the war and everything going on back then. It was released in, yeah, in uh, 1969. Whoa. So maybe there were times and. Um, he should be happy. The US maybe. Yeah. They landed on the moon back then. <laughs> bad it. moon rising, bad moon stuff. Yeah, they went for to humanity. The moon. <laughs> they bad, went to the moon and dropped it. <laughs> Okay, I don't oh, know, I don't know. Track There's number two. Uh, annotation here. There's a bad moon on the rise. And the annotation? I'd come up with the chords and melody. I get the phrase bad moon rising from the little book I've kept some titles in since 1969. I didn't even know what it means. So do we. He did. Like, Man, I don't even know. <laughs> they are clever and they are funny. You know? And now we, we have heard the voice. track number two from them. Number oh. 8 on Spotify's top 10 misheard lyrics as there's a bathroom on the right there's a bad moon on the rise there's a bathroom <laughs> on the right come on a how can you miss there's a bathroom it? on the right yeah but uh, it can be heard like that it <laughs> can be i feel like I playing know, okay. it again but like i oh feel man, dumb I can laugh. because i didn't like that. get the whole idea from it without reading so i i, I hope those those are, you know, you the rights, educated. you know, meanings of the song. Yeah, we love to get edu educated when we hear yeah. it here, so. <laughs> so I want to listen to it another time, yeah. just to feel like, to get the feel of the song, you know. Actually, I want to hear it one more time. And I want it to be longer, like two minutes. I want to hear it one more time to hear to, to hear them like uh, yeah, say, bathroom on the, the right. bathroom on the right. <laughs> yeah, like, I so wanna... guys, we would really appreciate if you tell us what uh, is the true meaning of the song. We really appreciate yeah. Creedence Clearwater Revival, and we we want to know more about them. But this song was a little bit confusing. Like, and short. And short. And short. Okay. We gotta have a long one and a more packed one. <laughs> okay, I agree. Now we're gonna yeah. have to wrap it up for yeah. any recommendation. Make sure to drop down a comment below and don't forget to like the video. And of course, our journey with Credence Clearwater Revival will definitely continue. Sure. So stay tuned for.